Iron Harvest is an alternative take on the history of the 1920s. Taking inspiration from this time of industrial change, Iron Harvest's fictional states and characters find themselves in the aftermath of the Great War. Huge diesel-fueled machines invented to serve humanity only lifted warfare to another level, and mankind had to realize that the war that was supposed to end all wars ended nothing. Usonia stayed out of the Great War, strengthening their industry, professionalizing their army, and building a powerful air force. America's past conflicts have been local, but the European catastrophe that was World War I paved the way for America to play a bigger role on the world stage. The question is, will they be saviors or conquerors? Introducing the ZR25 Samsung Essex, the pinnacle of Usonia's superior industrial and technological capacities. This gun fort comes in the form of an aircraft carrier and launches small drones that drop bombs on enemy bases. These small flies hunt down every remaining enemy reinforcement until nothing is left, making them a dangerous threat to be reckoned with. Hiding in the sand is Usonia's artillery mech, the M8 Attax Hornet. Always waiting for a surprise attack, this Usonian masterpiece excels at getting into firing range undetected and dealing damage over long distance. Its stealth ability enables the Hornet to hit targets that other artillery cannot, despite its comparably short range. Once discovered, enemy units need protection to come out on top in a devastating fight. The bravest of men become paratroopers who perform more dangerous missions behind enemy lines. Their ability to deploy far away from their base makes them the perfect unit for ambushes or for quickly reacting to enemy attacks. Their passive ability enables this unit to intercept any capture attempts close to the player's base and enables quick reactions to enemy movement, as well as precise assaults on certain positions. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Usonia's ZR-3 Revere Albacore. This flying unit fires different kinds of unguided rockets at every enemy approaching. The Albacore excels on maps with a lot of difficult terrain. With its ability to perform a long-range dash, it can bridge distances without interacting or damaging any obstacles or units in its way. The high mobility and high damage aspects combine to make it a very powerful and versatile unit and one of Usonia's proudest achievements. Speaking of achievements, the ultimate powerhouse of Usonia's forces is commanded by Admiral George Mason. On board the Union's flagship, the BV-8 UNC Queen Langley, the second ship of the Benedict class, the Admiral makes freedom rain from the sky in the form of lead and fire. This juggernaut of an airship will leave behind a trail of devastation. With the ship's scorched earth ability, the Admiral ignites several flamethrowers and scorches any ground targets in its way. No other aircraft is a real match for the immense power of the Queen Langley. Usonia could become a beacon of hope for the oppressed, bringing freedom and justice to everyone. Or it could succumb to the temptations of power and become a new empire ruling with an iron fist. It is now time for Usonia to make the 20th century its American century.